Hey gang, back with another video for you today and yet I have another new house introduction for you guys. Today we're talking about Achromic. This is what the bottles look like. Gender neutral niche fragrances. Are you familiar with this house? All the fragrances are created by Natalie Fastauer, another house that she's done all the fragrances for. The last time I did a video for uh, fragrances that she's created was for a brand called Sulemanto. So this time it's Achromic. Uh, we're going to talk about these three fragrances. I'm going to let you know all about them. I really love one of them. One of them I really like. One of them just didn't work for me, unfortunately. I just didn't care for it. But I'll let you know all about it. The brand is doing a sponsored giveaway today. One full bottle to give away for subscribers of this channel from the USA, Canada, EU, or the UK. Find out all about Achromic coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about achromic fragrances, gender neutral niche fragrances that are really interesting creations from uh, the perfumer Natalie um, Feistauer. If you don't know her perfumes, she's done a lot of stuff, a lot of fragrances. As I mentioned, she's done the fragrances for Sol Sulamanto. I have a full video on the channel. You could go catch that video. But she did the recently she did a, a fragrance for Zoologist Perfumes, Cow. She's done uh, a couple of fragrances, not a couple, a lot of different fragrances, but recently also My Juju from the House of Indult. She's done fragrances going back to uh, the 90s and uh, on to now. She's done a bunch of fragrances for Chris Collins. Who else? I've written down. Comme des Garçons, Aramis. She did uh, Havana. She's done uh, fragrances for Diesel, Etat Libre Orange, Hermes, Indult, I already mentioned, L'Orchestre Parfums, and of course, uh, Maison Crivelli. So definitely a perfumer you need to look into. But uh, as I said, she did all the fragrances for this house. A little about this house, Achromic is a gender neutral niche fragrance brand. Their fragrances are formulated without animal byproducts using sustainably clean and ethically sourced ingredients. Three times fragrances, 100 ml for 150 UK pounds or British pounds. And they have three different fragrances. One's a citrus, one's a floral rose, and one's a smoky gourmand. Can you guess which one is my favorite before I get into the fragrance? Okay, we're going to talk about the first one. It's ODR-211 Lucent. This is it right here. So this is a woody citrus aromatic fragrance. Features notes of grapefruit, mandora, cilantro, rhubarb, aldehydes, vetiver, intense wood. This is what they credit for the notes here for this particular fragrance. And I'll be upfront, this is my least favorite of the bunch. It just did not work for me. There was something with the notes that are not working for me in this particular fragrance. And typically I really love citruses and I love citruses a lot. But maybe it's the feature of cilantro in this particular fragrance that does not work for me. But it's very fresh and spicy, also aromatic but eventually the fragrance develops into fruitiness. A fruity, fizzy, aldehydic experience and definitely very, very woody as well. But just for some reason I was testing it out. I didn't really react to it positively and I felt like this was the weakest of the three and it just didn't work for me. Now you might find this one a favorite of yours when you test these three fragrances but I'm just being honest about the fragrances. I really like two. I love one of them and unfortunately Lucent didn't work for me and I think it is because of the combination of the Mandora with the cilantro and the rhubarb. I, I don't know maybe something in the fragrance uh, I didn't react positively to but it's very very fresh and there's definitely a powderiness in here as well, but it's, it's fizzy. There's aldehydic touches and a little vegetal with the fruitiness as well. Uh, but very unique fragrance, Lucent. It's ODR211 Lucent. Uh, that's the first fragrance I'm talking about today. It's interesting also, the numbering of the fragrances is in the order of preference for me. I, I gave you that clue right now. So this next one's really, really great. It's fluorescent. ODR212 fluorescent. This I would call a fruity floral, but I would also call a powdery fru fruity floral. It's really powdery. All the fragrances to me are powdery, so you've got to like powdery fragrances, but this one features rose, carrot, cardamom, raspberry, lychee fruit, geranium, cedar wood. So in the end, when you spray this one, you get this kind of a metallic green quality with this one. And then the rose develops, becomes very, very fruity and spicy as well. And of course, very rose forward, rose 
floral forward fragrance. There's definitely something candy like under there. Maybe something like, what do you call it? The, the Turkish delights, the rosiness. I think it's because of the fruitiness and the powderiness and the rose that kind of gives me this kind of a reaction, but it's kind of faint. It's not overwhelming. And the fact that it's also sweet, there's definitely sweetness here. I like the aromatic qualities of this geranium here. It really complements the rose and definitely adds a light mintiness and a metallic touch here. I think that's where we're getting the metallicness. Anytime I see aromatic notes, not anytime, sometimes the aromatic notes go in that direction. It's a little minerally and also metallic, but powdery, very, very powdery. And the, I thought there might be iris here, but it's the carrot that's in here that's creating this powdery experience in this particular fragrance. But it's really, really great to wear. I really like this one. It's somewhat jammy, but not overwhelmingly jammy. I think the jamminess is also associated with syrupiness. Since this one is acting powdery, I don't get too much of a jammy experience. It's also kind of a, a younger rose rather than a mature, really, really intense rose experience. But a really, really fun one. I think this one works great. When I was testing these three fragrances out, we were having a bit of a heat wave here and the heat kind of uh, made this particular fragrance come alive even further, which I like. So this is my second favorite and it's really close to the first one. Uh, with the first one that I just, not the first one, uh, the number one favorite is what I should say. The citrus one, I'm just telling you again, it just didn't work for me. But the fluorescent with the rose, really, really great fragrance. If you like rose, check it out. I think uh, it's going to satisfy. But my all-time favorite from this house is ODR213 Opaque. This one is so interestingly delicious. It's a woody, smoky, rubbery gourmand. Hey, I love gourmands, right? You know about this. But this is one unique gourmand that I haven't experienced something like this. There's a burned rubber smokiness here, like a tire screeching. You can smell that burned rubber against the pavement or the, the road, but throw in some sweet gourmand notes. Where do they come from? I don't know. Maybe you're just sitting at the edge of the road and eating delicious gourmand things or a cake or something or sweets and somebody just like had to break their car and you smell that rubberiness. Very interesting. Uh, combination of notes, but it's amber, guyac wood, birch, bergamot, cinnamon, gourmand notes, vanilla, and tonka beans. So gourmand notes, there's a creaminess here. I don't know what, what kind of, like toffee maybe, caramel, maybe something like pralines or something, not necessarily chocolatey, but whatever you find inside like a chocolate covered ganache or something. There's definitely something like that here, more like caramel, butterscotch, something like that, toffee, all those come to mind here. But it's uber smoky and it's a leathery, rubbery kind of a smoke. And I think we're getting that from the birch note. There's a major birch note here and it becomes ambery. And then of course there's some spices thrown in. And I think all of these are blending really well. It's like almost like, do I really like that smell? Yes, I do. I love that kind of rubbery, smoky, leathery, burned smell next to the uh, gourmet notes. I really like to wear this one. And this one also was tested in the heat. I mean, when I'm saying heat, it's not like overwhelmingly hot. It kind of got close to 80 here. And San Francisco doesn't usually get that warm. And yeah, this fragrance comes alive. It smells fantastic. I really like it. I like that whole, whole burned rubber experience, burned rubber leather experience. So I do recommend this particular one uh, as a fragrance for you guys to start out with from this house. But you got to love that kind of burned rubber smokiness with gourmand. This is not a traditional gourmand for me. Not like you're gonna just wear nothing but gourmand notes. Those um, smoky burn rubber notes are probably gonna throw you off. So if you like that kind of a fragrance, definitely check it out. It's ODR213 Opaque from the house of Achromic. Have you heard of this house? Do you know about their fragrances? Do you know about Natalie Feistauer, the perfumer? I didn't realize she had work on some some fragrances I know way back from, uh, you know, like like I said, uh, Havana from uh, Aramis. That was one of my favorite Aramis fragrances. I mean, I found this out a long time ago. I'm just telling you guys, if you guys, in case you don't know about her perfumes. She's, she works a lot lately and she's done a lot of uh, great fragrances for niche houses. Uh, definitely look her name up. Uh, as I said, these are all created by her. Now, just to reiterate, my favorite is ODR213 Opaque. And with a close behind the ODR213 Opaque, it's ODR212 Fluorescent. But sadly, ODR211 Lucent just did not work for me. I didn't care for it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care for cilantro. I think that's what it was. It was just not mixing with my chemistry. It's not one of my favorite 
aromatic herbs. I, I just don't like the smell of it. cilantro. I eat it in Mexican food, but it's not one of my favorite herbs. I'm a parsley guy, mint and things like that. So I think that's the reason why that one just didn't connect with me. But either way, maybe you guys can test it out and let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, on to the giveaway. We have one full bottle giveaway, as I said, to the subscribers of this channel from the USA, Canada, EU, and the UK. If you want to participate, please make sure you're subscribed and let me know what you liked about this video, which fragrance you would choose if you won, and uh, put down your country if you are outside of the USA, and then put down USA and the state if you are in the uh, USA. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.